Rates at checkout is a feature that allows users to set up shipping rates that will be charged to their buyers at checkout. These rates will be configured based on certain criteria and can be set up for different service levels with other specific requirements. Users can create multiple rates within a service level. Each rate has its own criteria and if multiple rates are matched on a single request, the cheapest rate is returned. To use rates at checkout, you will need to enable the functionality for your specific sales channel. More information can be found on our website. To configure your rates at checkout, you first need to set up the service levels that you would like to offer your customers. Two service levels have already been set up for your convenience, but you can edit these or add additional service levels to suit your requirements. These defaults are also a good indication of what your rate setup can look like by covering local, main center, and regional zones. To create a service level, you will need to complete the relevant fields as required. The service level name is the name of the rate that will be presented to customers at checkout. Add handling time, which is additional time for preparing the shipment that can be added to rates to give customers a better idea of expected delivery day. Add a delivery time, which when using a fixed rate, the user can specify the delivery time for the applicable service level. The calculated time includes weekends and public holidays. Under advanced options, Add liability or insurance for each service level as an optional feature to cover the cost of lost or damaged items. Insurance can only be added to each service level and not to a specific rate. Next, you can set up the rates that you would like to charge at checkout under a service level. As mentioned, you can set up multiple rates under a service level with their own criteria and if multiple rates are matched on a single request, the cheapest rate will be returned. There is only one exception to this, and that is when a no rate configuration is matched. There are five types of rates that you can set up, namely dynamic, fixed, courier, formula, and no rate. To set up a rate, regardless of the type of rate, the following fields must be configured. Select a zone or tag to ship to. This means that this rate will only be displayed when the delivery address matches the zone or tag you have selected. Add any order weights or values that you would like to include in this rate. If you would like the rate to be active, ensure that the rate is enabled. Next, choose the type of rate. Dynamic rates are based on cached rates gathered for each service level, each zone, and each courier. To set up a dynamic rate, add your preferred service level type, your preferred courier, and add a rate adjustment or a rounding of your rates as required. You will then see a preview of the rate as it will be displayed at checkout. If you would like to set up dynamic rates to service another zone or tag, you will need to set up another rate for this. You will also need to set up another rate if you would like this rate to be available under another service level. Let's take a closer look at the other types of rates. Fixed rates are a single fixed rate that is charged to customers at checkout when specific conditions are met. You can also use this rate type if you want to offer free shipping. As with the setup of all rates, select a zone or tag to ship to and add any order weights or values that you would like to include in this rate. Then select fixed rates as your rate type. Add your rate or for free shipping to be applied simply select free shipping. If you would like to offer free shipping above a certain basket value simply add a minimum order value into the above fields. A formula can be configured to return rates at checkout within the bounds of the criteria based on a minimum charge and a minimum weight with a rate per kilogram thereafter. When setting up a formula rate, include a minimum charge, a minimum weight, and a rate per kilogram thereafter. 
The no rate option can be selected if you do not want to service a specific area. This means that no rates will be returned if the criteria is met. This rate type is often used by merchants who do not want to service a specific zone or tag, like international. Courier rates are real-time quotes returned to customers at checkout. This rate takes into consideration the order weight, the customer's shipping address and the collection address to display shipping options for your customers. When setting up courier rates, you will not need to select a shipping to zone or tag. You will only need to include your preferred service level type, your preferred courier, and add a rate adjustment or round rate if required. It is important to note that this type of rate returns rates slower to your customers at checkout than the other types of rates. Once you have finished setting up your rates, configure your surcharges and settings. In setting up rates at checkout, you can set up surcharges as a fixed price for matched zones or tags to ensure that the surcharge cost is covered by the rate charged at checkout. You can create surcharges by selecting zones and tags from the surcharge map. It is important to note that these surcharges are not linked to any service levels and are global. Configure your settings. First, set up your defaults. This is a fallback rate that will only be shown if the collection or delivery address cannot be geocoded. Rates at checkout is used by sales channels to fetch shipping rates that are charged to customers at checkout. The sales channels that support rates at checkout can be managed here. Finally, test your settings and test your rates. This can be done by using the Test Your Rates button on the Rates at Checkout tab or by checking out on your store. If you have any questions on rates at checkout or require custom solutions, please contact our support team to assist you.